The simply groundbreaking event is coming to Pokemon Go with a brand new Dynamax Pokemon and it's a Pokemon that you really do not want to miss out on because it will help you guys to actually take on a brand new Gigantamax Pokemon coming out soon. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys! So yes, let me go to bring my screen out and I'm going to show you guys all the information from uh, yep, PokemonGoLive.com instead of, um, I guess, uh, going through um, the game itself. So uh, yes, get ready to dig deep during the simply groundbreaking event and we have Dynamax Drillber coming into raids for the very first time and it's actually one of the best decisions that Niantic or the Pokemon company has uh, came up with to actually release Dynamax Drillber before a Gigantamax a new Pokemon that's coming out soon which I'll show you guys in a bit. Alright, so the event is from 15th to the 17th of November 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time, respectively. And uh, there's two times chance for us to get Candy XL from catching Pokemon if you're level 31 and above. So Dynamax debut, yes, we got Drubal. And Drubal is actually one of my most favorite ground typing Pokemon to get. So I'm pretty excited to get this as uh, I'll show you guys something really, really insane though. Yep, so I've actually uh, collected a lot of resources for Drubal. Yep, look at my dad. 38,000 candies with 6,000 candy XL. Yes, I have more than enough candy XL and candies to actually power up like a crazy number of shadow droopers. But um, I have to save it for the Dynamax now, knowing that Dynamax uh, needs the candies too, especially if you want to unlock the new uh, moves, the Max Guard and the Max Spirits and whatever Max attack moves that it has. So these are the wild Pokemon that are spawning, uh, including Drillber. So um, some of them are not so exciting anymore already. But uh, of course, all of them are shiny above including the Excadrill which is available in the wild too interesting so if you need the XL candy for Dribble and uh, Excadrill remember to trade them because during this season of the max out season till the 3rd of December you still get yourself guaranteed candy XLs alright so we got few research and whatsoever but that's basically all the information over here so like I said in order for us to actually uh, take on the next Gigantamax Pokemon that will be releasing soon much easier we have to get um Dynamax Excadrill, basically the evolution form of Drillber. And the reason for that is because the next Gigantamax Pokemon is going to be released during the Pokemon Go Wow area in Fukuoka and also for the global. I'm actually heading to Fukuoka um, tomorrow. I'm actually going to reach uh, Fukuoka in Japan on Friday at about 11.30am uh, so I'll be able to reach there one day before the event uh, commence on Saturday itself so then I would uh, not have enough time to adjust my body clock but just uh, I just go through with it I guess so then the global one happens on the 23rd to the 20, uh, and 24th of November which then I would actually be in Qatar I'll be in Doha to actually play with the community over there so the event is from 10am to 6.15pm very interesting time that it ends off at 6.15pm not 6pm or 7pm very interesting timing i was very puzzled that they actually uh, made this kind of timing but anyway i'm not going to go through uh, too much details but for the global one we have primal kyogre and primal groudon available with special backgrounds uh, assuming if it loads all right there we go and uh, what type training are you whether you are poison or electric type depends on what you are uh, i probably go for the poison depending on the situation we got a new ball we got a safari ball finally releasing a new ball for the very first time safari ball has been released in uh, the main series game since generation one and i used to play generation one and you have to get the safari ball going to the safari the zone and from there you will be able to use i believe 50 at that point of time safari balls to catch pokemon you cannot use your pokemon to catch them but basically you can only use the safari balls so gigantamax toxic city is ready to rock so the dynamax and the gigantamax uh, toxic city they are both releasing at the same time together with the pikachus the rockstar and popstar pikachu and also snorlax is ready to rock and roll with the outfit so yes, uh, Toxicity, Dynamax, uh, Toxicity is also coming. So it has two forms. One is the low-key form, the other one is the amped form. So we will show you guys that. And this is the pre-evolution of it, uh, Toxel, which you can uh, hatch from the 10 km egg. And it would also be shiny above, which is pretty uh, interesting. We've got Mighty Pokemon being released too. Uh, higher IVs, higher, higher chance to be XL and whatsoever. And we got, ooh, shiny. Yeah, increased chance for shiny if you have the ticket. And also we got the last one, and that is the Origin Palkia and Dialga, available in rates. So uh, that'll be great. So anyway, as I was saying, the Pokemon that we're going to look at is uh, Toxic City. 
all right toxicity whether in the dynamax or in the gigantamax form you have to use your dynamax uh excadrill to actually take it on and dynamax excadrill is one of the strongest if not the strongest uh dynamax ground typing pokemon to get so uh yes you get a raw of time whatsoever but i want to show you guys uh over here so you guys can see yes the following pokemon will be available in gigantamax battle it'll be a six star max battles which i assume is 18,000 hit points similar to what we experienced against the uh gigantamax gengar or the gigantamax uh three starters kanto starters uh venusaur blastoise and also charizard so it's gonna be uh, pretty tough to take down but the thing about the excadrill the dynamax excadrill the special thing about it is first of all its typing is a ground and steel typing which means toxic city being a electric or poison type pokemon the excadrill having those typing double resist poison and also double resist electric so because of that the excadrill will survive the longest compared to any other pokemon that you're going to use against the toxicity already so that's why i really urge you guys to get yourself the dynamax uh, beldum not beldum sorry the drilba all right to get yourself the dynamax uh, excadrill and the reason for that is also toxic city being a poison and electric type pokemon it is double weak to ground so having ground type moves on your excadrill will be perfect so you're doing double super effective damage you are also taking double resisted damage so to me it is literally the best pokemon that uh, niantic or game freak has uh, released before the toxicity uh, global release i guess so that's something i really really urge you guys to get and also the toxicity like i said there are two different forms for the dynamax there's the amped form and so the low key form all of them can be shinyable and including the drill too so also the gigantamax it also can be shinyable so if you are lucky you may encounter a shiny one if you are lucky everything is or if you are lucky yeah, everything is if you are lucky is basically uh, rng right or random number generator or basically luck or lucky yep so uh, those are some of the event uh, details i won't go through too much with you guys in terms of everything else but i just want to say that if you really really want to prepare yourself to actually take on the gigantamax um uh, toxicity uh, much easier and the dynamax one too i'll really get, uh, urge you guys to prepare the uh, drillers and also get the extra drills if you guys can and uh, the max monday coming max monday on the uh 18th of november it will be the drillable max monday so i really really uh, urge you guys to try and uh, get as many uh, dribbles as possible and another thing though i understand a lot of people would feel very hard pain to power up like not unhando or not high iv uh extra drills uh the truth is even if you have a uh 15 15 15 or a 15 10 10 uh technically speaking you're just gonna get one shot or two shot ko uh most of the time from uh, regular raid bosses or gigantamax bosses but against toxicity maybe you might survive a bit longer since you get double resistance but uh even so i would say that uh as long as your attack is 15 for the ivs you are good in, you are good to go but of course i also understand that for those of you who want like, to use your excadrill or other dynamax pokemon for other purpose like raids or even uh uh gym purpose or even for uh, go battle league then having a higher iv one powering that one up makes a lot of sense but if you have already powered up a hundo before that and you are using it for go battle league or using it for raids purposes before that already um powering up one with a 15 attack uh, is pretty much good enough i'm gonna make a video on it in the future uh, to show the difference between a hundo and a 15 10 10 provided i can get it but uh, we will see how about that in the future all right so hopefully you guys have uh, found this uh, video a bit informative and useful for you guys to prepare definitely go for the drupal you will not regret it um it's definitely way better than any other pokemon that has been released in the Dyna dynamax form so far um especially now that toxicity is confirmed to be out in the events that's going to come out in the future so definitely it'll be a mo the most useful pokemon to use against toxicity so uh hopefully you guys uh also, we'll be able to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. And also share the video out, information out with your friends to actually uh, go after the extra drills, the Dynamax extra drills together. Uh, I'm not too sure how difficult it will be, be but um, if you guys want to take it down quicker, going with a group will be better. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video, alright? So it's time to say goodbye, or hopefully to see you guys in Fukuoka and maybe in Qatar. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.